I will not be supporting the motion for uh, the following reasons. One is um, I searched the state and focused really on Northern California. The only other city that has two assistant city managers is really Palo Alto. They're in an entirely different situation than us. They have, their budget is huge, and their staff is a lot bigger than us, and they are more of a full service city than we are. Um, I believe that we can save uh, over $200,000, even more than that. Um, Pam Schnault was at the top of her um, salary. She was at the actual at the top of this step. And so if we were to hide, backfill for that position at the, um, the, the first step of that position, um, we could save quite a bit of money. Also, the proposal for the two assistant city managers, one full compensation, it's 228000 I'm just going to round down, rounding down, 228000 The other assistant city manager is 171000 so um, I believe that if we only had one assistant city manager and we lowered um, and we brought in a backfill for Pam at the first top of, uh, at the low of their uh, salary range, we would save um, many hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, I am equally concerned about the growth in our central administration and also um, administrative services. I have been tracking this since um, 2009 when Michael Frank became our city manager. In central administration, we had 4.3, and administrative services, we had 12 FTE. That went up uh, in 2016, 2017. Central administration now became 8. Administrative services became 16.65. But the police department has gone down. Maintenance has gone down as well for parks as well as streets. And I believe that any additional FTE should not be focused in central administration or administrative services, that it should be with the services that really affect our community, that is in parks and rec, where they're providing so many services, and also in streets and, um, and, and park maintenance. Um, I believe that this de-emphasizes a public engagement incredibly because this assistant city manager has got to work with the city clerk, ha director of uh, Hamilton Reuse, and also the sustainability coordinator and will not be able to spend even half of her, his or her time on public engagement. And so you're going to be going down on, on the level of effort. And you're going to be going down also on the level of effort of economic development. You're not going to have a full position on economic development. It's going to be only a half an FTE. And um, that uh, position, um, as it's currently structured, is um, greater than um, uh, the other management analysts. But um, frankly, I don't think this is going in the right direction. It makes us really top heavy. Really, I mean, making $228,000 and 171000 that's a lot for a small city of 54,000 people with 200 employees. Whereas if we were Palo Alto, it might make sense, but we're not. We're not a full-service city. We do not provide fire. We do not provide water. We do not provide sanitary service. I will not be supporting the action. This is going in the wrong direction. And I believe you're, you're going to be seeing um, a real impact on the level of service. 